Hi there friends, it's Miss Kim again, back for another story time. Today we are going to read The Giant Jam Sandwich. And this story was written and all of the pictures were drawn by John Vernon Lord. So he is the author and the illustrator of this book. He was a very busy person. He wrote this whole book and he drew all of these pictures. So let's see what this book is about. This is one of my favorite books because I used to read this book when I was little. My mommy used to read this book to me. So I love this book and I hope you love it too. One hot summer in Itchy Down, four million wasps flew into town. That is a lot of wasps. Do you think you can count to four million? That's a lot of wasps. They drove the picnickers away and they chased the farmers from their hay. They stung Lord Swell on his fat bald plate and they dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. The noisy, nasty nuisance grew till the villagers cried, what can we do? So they called a meeting in the village hall and Mayor Muddlenut asked them all, what can we do? And they said, good question, but nobody had a good suggestion. Then Bap the baker leaped to his feet and cried, do wasps, what do they like best to eat? Strawberry jam, now wait a minute. If we make a giant sandwich, we could trap them in it. The gentleman cheered and the ladies squealed and Farmer Seed said, use my field. Bap gave instructions for the making of the dough, mix the flour from above and the yeast from below. Salt from the seaside and water from the sprout. Now thump it and bump it and bang it about. While they were working and working hard, some more made a tablecloth out in the yard. When they were done, the dough was left to rise till the loaf was a mountain in shape and size. They hitched it up with a bit of fuss to tractors and cars and the village bus and took it to the oven they had made on the hill. 50 cookers in an old brick mill. For hours and hours they let it cook. It swelled inside till the windows shook. It was piping hot when they took it out and the villagers raised a mighty shout. Isn't it crusty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps were just as bad as ever. All of the wasps were swarming all around in the sky. There were so many wasps. A wasp is a type of bee. The loaf was left to cool and then the people watched while six strong men took a great big saw and sliced right through. Everybody clapped and they cut sliced too. The village bus they all agreed would spoil the field of farmer seed so eight fine horses pulled the breed bread pulled the bread eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread a chuck drew up and dumped out butter and they spread it out with a flap and a flutter spoons and spades slap and slam and they did the same with the strawberry jam look at all of that strawberry jam what would happen if you ate all of that strawberry jam do you think you'd get a bellyache i would get a bellyache if i ate all of that jam Jam is like a jelly. Meanwhile, high above the field, 60 flying machines whirled and wheeled, ready for the wasps to take the bite. And then there was nothing to do but wait. So now they all had to wait. Suddenly, the sky was humming. All four million wasps were coming. And they smelled that jam and they dived and struck. And they ate so much that they all got stuck. Look, they're all getting stuck. They're all getting stuck in that sticky, sticky jelly because we know jelly and jam is sticky, right? And the other slice down, the other slice came down, curse splat on top of the wasps. And that was that. Look, all of the wasps got stuck because they were all stuck on that sticky jelly. So all the wasps got stuck on the jelly when the second slice of bread came down. There were only three wasps that got away. Do you see them in the corner? The three wasps over here, one, two, three. Those were the only wasps that got away. And where they are now, we just cannot say. We just don't know where they flew off to. Only three wasps got away. But they never came back to itching down 
which is not a waspish sort of town, but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's exactly what the villagers did that day. They were all so happy that all of the wasps got caught. But look over here in the corner. What do you see? Are those birds taking away the bread? Let's see. What became of the sandwich? Well, in itching down, they like to tell how the birds flew off with it in their beaks, and they had a feast for a hundred weeks. Wow. Do you know how long a hundred weeks are? That's a lot of weeks. Because they're only, that's a lot of months too. There are four weeks in a month. Look at that. All right, the end. It was wonderful having story time with you again. I'll be back tomorrow for some more. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I do. I miss all of my friends so much. I can't wait to see you. Mwah! Big kiss from Miss Kim to you. See you tomorrow. Bye.